Hi, my name is Clément. I'm with uh, Fabien, the CTO of Ubic, and today in our video we want to present FreeRAN. FreeRAN being our latest innovation, which is the first LTEM IoT base station that is FCC certified for use in the US license free band. We're going to go over the configuration and the setup of FreeRAN. Yes, so this is FreeRAN. As you see, it's a compact LTEM base station. It's operating in the unlicensed band of the United States, which is from 902 to 928 megahertz. So as you see here, it's already powered on. It's powered over Ethernet, as its low power consumption of less than 60 watt allows this. Then it's equipped with an uh, antenna uh, through which the devices communicate with the base station. So the base station broadcasting LTE signal at 926.5 megahertz and receiving from the devices at 903.5 megahertz, all within that unlicensed band. And it also is equipped with a GPS antenna from which it gets accurate frequency and timing such that the broadcasted signal is accurate. As far as the end devices go, uh, it's actually overlapping with a widely available LTE band 8 that most LTEM modules on the market support. So as long as your module support band 8, then it will be compatible with FreeRAN provided it goes through FCC compliance for that band. As an example here, uh, we are using a Sequence Monarch 2 module in that device that communicates with an electricity meter, collecting data from the meter and sending it to a backend application through the free run as a LTM base station without using any public network. So here I will plug it in the meter so it gets powered on and can communicate with the base station and then the server. So, FreeRun here is demonstrated with a 1.1 dBi antenna gain, but for deployment, FCC approved actually for up to 2.65 dBi of gain, which can be uh, deployed with an antenna like this, providing a little bit more coverage. So operation in an unlicensed band allows up to one watt of transmit power or 30 dBm, and this unit is approved for operation close to that limit at 29.5 dBm. It's operating over a three megahertz bandwidth, providing plenty of capacity and no uh, limitation on the number of UEs you can connect. This is a base station, so then it needs to connect to core network or EPC, which also contains SIM information. So in this kit, actually we provide the EPC in the box and it's already built in with the provisioning of the SIM cards that we also provide directly to test in your UEs, such that you have a network in a box and the traffic generated from the devices is directly available through the backhaul. In terms of backhaul option, actually the unit supports both Ethernet, so you can connect through a local network, and it also has a LTE Cat1 backhaul option, which you can directly connect, for instance, to core in the cloud uh, over the S1 interface through a VPN connection. So you can also connect to cores that would be located on-premise in your network, such that the traffic of your devices doesn't go out of your premises for a local breakout configuration. Based on this configuration and the setup, we are making this free run available for purchase from Ubic. It's either as a SDK, an ignition kit with a few UEs. It's also available for purchase directly for deployment. So we invite you to go and get in touch with us.